What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another YouTube exclusive now, guys. You guys have been asking me for this, so I figured, let's do it. Some of you guys may be aware of this stuff, some of you guys may not, but I'll run you off to speed. There is a thing called Mod the Spire, which is not directly associated with the game, but it's people have you know come together to mod and create their own characters. And some of them apparently have gotten pretty good, and people have wanted me to try it. So I'm going to show you right here. You see this? We got this, and we got the witch. So today we're going to try out the witch. From what I hear briefly, I think she has to do with curses, and there's some cursed energy. That's the gist of it. That's all I know. So let's go ahead and hop right into it, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, and there she is. A little kitty cat. Okay. The witch. 37 gold. A cackling sorceress specialized in dealing with curses. Her thing, her relic, starting relic is the black cat. Shuffle a random curse in your deck at the beginning of each fight. Gave, gain energy whenever you draw a curse. You gain energy whenever you draw a curse. Okay. And if you guys notice, it looks like the silent, but, you know, a little bit darker. A little bit, you know, more witch-like. Kind of like it. Obtain a random rare. Enemies in your next uh, three combats have one HP or transfer cards. Now, what's funny is that I actually wouldn't mind getting a curse start with the Meow. And I bet, honestly, if you get the curse start, you're probably in the clear, right? But if you go random rare... One HP or transfer cards. Let me see. I'm curious to see her cards. So I want to just transfer them to cards. And just roll with it. And see what happens. I mean, the other hand is we can try to go for an elite. But there's no real good path for the elite. So let's transform, let's transform her cards and see what we got. Let's go for it. Ooh, she has a thing called Zombie Spit. Deal three damage and apply one Decrepit. Decrepit means creatures afflicted by Decrepit suffer one extra damage from attacks for each attack, for each stack. Each turn decrepit is decreased by one. So it's like poison, but it's, it's weird. Okay, so for every stack of decrepit, they get one extra damage from attacks. Interesting. Gain 12 block and gain one artifact for a turn. Now that's insane. 12 block and one artifact for a turn? That's nuts. That's absolutely insane. Okay, we got cat familiar. At the start of your turn, add a cat to your hand. Removes other familiar powers. Unnatural energy. Gain... Energy. Recurrent. When this card is played, it's shuffled in the draw pile instead of being discarded. What? That sounds nutty. When this card is played, it's shuffled in the draw pile instead of being discarded. That sounds intriguing. Okay, so we got Clumsy. Unnatural Energy. Summon Familiar. I don't know what Summon Familiar means. But I played it. So I gotta change some of these stuff. Like, we gotta take off uh, Screen Shake. And we gotta take off the... There we go. We're all good. Cat Familiar. Oh, Ethereal. Deal three damage two times. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Cat is a kind of card type that she has. This is a power, it's like Hello World that like, adds card stuff. Cool, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we have all this extra energy because we got clumsy. And we got unnatural energy, which is keep coming up. Decrepit. Cat familiar. It's just non-stop. <laughs> it's just non-stop. So far, so cool. Is this, wait, is this, is this the only cat that there is? Interesting. Oh, wait, I just realized. That's insane with decrepit because you put decrepit... So then this gets more and more stacks. Like, look, there you go, decrepit. Now this does potentially eight times two. There you go. Oh wow, there's some synergy there. There is some synergy. This girl seems kind of insane. Milady, deal nine damage and apply two rot. Rot is creatures afflicted by rot lose one HP at the start of their turn. Each rot, each turn rot is increased by one. Wait, wait, wait. They lose HP at the start of their turn and each turn is increased by one. So I apply two and it keeps increasing by itself. That's kind of crazy. Broomstick. Deal 8 damage. If the target is weak, the damage is increased by 50% and apply 1 weak. I don't like it. Ill Omen. Shuffle a random curse in your draw pile. The next time you draw a curse, deal 14 damage to all enemies. I like it. I like it. I like this. But I like this better. Milady. Milady, I like you better. We're taking curses. Because remember, with curses, we get energy. Now, of course, that doesn't mean all curses are really good for us, but... Removes all their familiar powers. Cool. Because we got zombies, we got that, we got this. The crap had kind of a cool little icon. Look at that.
Okay. Oh, but now we have the artifact to stop the doubt and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Milady. See, it's too raw and it keeps increasing. That's kind of insane. Now it's inc now I just for, wait. I use the card once and it just nonstop going to keep increasing. That's that's broken. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take a super copy for that one. We're excited about this one, boys. Okay, when drawn, apply one weak terrain to an enemy. Deal ten damage to all weak enemies. When drawn, apply one week to a random enemy. Two energy. Okay. When you're attacked, apply one decrepit to the attacker. Yes, I like that. Deal nine damage. Apply two week if you have a, at least a curse in your hand. Well, this is kind of good. Whoa. This is a potentially nine damage two week. Wow. Wow. But because we have Cat Familiar, I'm going for the decrepit build. The decrepit build is coming up. Give me the curse, baby. I shouldn't be taking all these curses. I know. I know. I shouldn't be. Let's go for the, the elites. Milady. Well, Milady is so good against this guy. I shouldn't play that unnatural energy because I actually don't want to. I want to weaken him. I don't want to keep playing skills to make him stronger, right? But he's going to get. He's just rotting away. So we have Decrepit on him, right? We can use this, and then we can also do this. It's six damage. Now, he's attacking me, so he's gonna get Decrepit again. Right? So we got more Decrepit. Now he has two Decrepit, plus this is gonna make it eight damage. A little bit of a guard. Why not? He's riding away. Keep that in mind. He's just riding away. He has more Decrepit on him, so we got eight damage. Plus six, plus six. Plus the six rot. Boy, he's dead. Very nice. Wedgestone, okay. Mercury wand. If you have zero block, gain nine block. Otherwise, deal nine damage. Really? This is a versatile card. This is either going to be nine block for one or nine damage for one. Not bad, okay. Demon fire. Deal five damage. All demon fire cards deal an extra additional one damage this combat. Recurrent. What? What? So this is like Claw, but instead of it going to discard, it goes to your... Interesting. So Barry, when drawn, gain 3 block, gain 5 block, exhaust. Sorry, gain 6 block. So you draw 3 when you draw it, and when you play it, you gain 6. So, if you don't play it, you're going to keep drawing 3 from this, but if you play it, it exhausts it, but you get 9 block that turn. So that's pretty good value for what it is. And the Mercury Wand is pretty good as well. And the nice thing about Mercury Wand is that it doesn't exhaust. Hey, who is, uh... I like this. Whoa, we got the upgrade. Oh, and Zombie Spit now has two Decrepit. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. So let's upgrade Cat Familiar. Add an upgraded Cat, yes. And then what, what is this? Two Decrepit? Oh, these are also good. Four Rot? Oh my god. Four Rot isn't... Guys, what? Bag of Prep, love it. I want to go for the shop, so we're going this way. Blood Vial, very nice. Very fitting for a witch, I might add. So this is going to be two energy, and it keeps coming. Right now, we don't have a way to use that energy, but we're going to find a way to use that energy. Grim Vengeance, I like that a lot. Hex Guard, these are, these are really crazy broken cards, but you know what? That's the beauty of these cards. They're modded. We're here to have some fun. Normality, I don't know if I like that one. Milady, 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 milady. I mean, I mean, really, the smack. That's so good. Okay, so Karma Dream applies zero, uh, X week gain block X times. Not always applying that many weak and gaining that many blocks. It's like malaise, but for yourself with block and weaken. Okay, wicked thoughts. Retain. Draw one card for each curse in your hand. That's interesting. Salt circle. Retain. Gain 7 block. 
Game seven block, I said. Game seven block. I don't know how that came out that way. I think when you say salt circle, gate block comes out weird. Okay. So wicked thoughts is interesting because we do have unnatural energy, right? So that means we're probably going to have excess energy at some point. So by playing with this, we can get the card draw to supplement the energy we have. This is obviously really good. I don't know why my voice keeps changing. Certainly I'm a witch and I'm second kind of British. We're taking wicked thoughts. Got the energy. Now we got some card draw with the curses. The synergy is coming together. For instance, we got unnatural energy. We can retain this stuff. Now, see, if I get blocked first, then I can do 13 damage. I like that. And we get artifacts for days. So we can make this guy rot. Well, let's make this guy rot. It's the first damage I took in a long time. But the ability to retain is really interesting to me. I keep putting natural energy back in. I have all this energy I'm not utilizing. Catch from there. So this gives me 9 block. But maybe I want to kill. So if I want to kill, I play block and then I do that, that, that. Beautiful. You want to kill. Let's go. Nice. I'm liking the witch, man. Whoa, impending doom. Two cat eyes. Deal eight damage, and next turn the enemy loses eight life. So this is 16 damage for one. 16 damage for one. And by, by them losing eight life, it works against, I'm assuming, armor. And also, I mean, it doesn't exhaust. It's just 16 damage for one. That's crazy. Deal nine damage. Apply to weak if you have at least a curse in your hands. Right of summer. Discard any number of cards and deal five damage to a random enemy for each card discarded. That's okay, but impending doom, like, that's kind of nutty. Milady. So I kind of want to do zombie spit. So I can milady this girl. Then we're going to do retain wicked thoughts. Look, we're going to retain this stuff, but we get draw cards. Like it, like it. Cat familiar. Decrepit. Block, block. Oh, we don't retain the curses. Interesting. So this is upgrades. So this is 9 damage for 1, right? But when they have to crep it, it's even more. This guy's taking 5 damage. He's going to die to rot by himself. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do... Now this guy's going to get rid of itself. But I'd still rather block. This guy's just going to die on his own. I mean, Milady is extremely powerful. This gives me 13 block. Now, I guess I'm fine with taking 13 block. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad, guys. Well made. Well made. So, Impending Doom is going to take care of that guy. That guy's dead next turn. And we can go ahead and... Uh, that guy's dead as well to Rot. So, let's go ahead and attack. Quite nice. Oh! At the end of the turn. Ah! My bad. It's at the end of the turn. That's good to know. That's good to know, guys. At the end of the turn. Look at all the cat familiars. That's insane. Man, Decrepit is insane. And I love every second of it. Foresight, draw a card. If it's a curse source that is exhausted, otherwise draw a copy of it. Wow, that could be nutty. I just want to try that out. I don't even care if it's good or not. I want to try that out. You probably cover drain. Uh, Wicked Thoughts is probably better. Just get more card draw and stuff, but I don't care. <laughs> Pet Cage, add a random familiar in your hand at the beginning of each turn. Wow. Owl familiar. At the start of your turn, add an owl to your hand. Remove other familiar powers. So we can either have cats or owls. I'm sticking with my cats for now, even though Al is probably cool. I think cat works well with the decrepit, right? So we're going to keep with that. All enemies lose four health. What? For zero, all enemies lose four health? This is zero? Wow, okay. Deal 12 damage, then the enemy loses 12 HP. This is crazy. These are some good attacks. I want them all. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand, and then draw that many cards. Recurrent. You just keep drawing, but then exhausting, drawing, and exhausting. Now, with the energy we have, with unnatural energy, and plus the curses we're getting, that we're gonna be, every time we draw a curse, we get energy. We can potentially do a lot of stuff. Now, I like Rite of Vomit, Autumn. I also kind of like this Pet Cage. Let's try this out. Pet Cage. Exhaust your random curse or status in your draw pile. 
in your drop pile. Can you see my block? I read right about him. I want to try to bleed out. I'm. L oh, we should have probably taken Darkstone. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of things I want to do with this class. Let's see the upgrade on this. 7 health for 0? Oh my. 22 damage. 2 cards for each curse. Is it just me or just this feel, this feels damn nutty? And I, I, I mean, I can't help it. It's just like, okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. I feel bad for this man. We're gonna make him rot first off. Gain four block. So I got a random pet at the beginning of each turn. So I got a toad. Gain four block. Reduce your vulnerable, weak, and fail by one. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block so I can get damage here. Boom. I'm gonna let him rot away a little bit. We got a bat. Apply one weak, reduce strength for... No, reduce my strength or his strength? His strength. Cool. Impending doom. Wait, so let's do zombie split, impending doom. Wicked thoughts. Supposed to retain, no? Oh, I retain the wicked thoughts. Oh, wicked thoughts doesn't... Ah, I misunderstood. Well, in any case, we got a raven. Upgrade a card in your hand and reduce its cost by one for the rest of the combat. Well, okay, that's good to know. Because now I know that I could take a raven and potentially get some expensive cards. Like that Mortis Claw we saw, which is doing 13 damage tw twice. Make it two energy. That's insane. Let's make it, um... The strike. Upgraded and free. Let's do this. Now let's go for the split. Ah, see, I got rid of Rot, so maybe I should have tried to milk that a little bit. Draw a card. If it's a status or a curse, exhaust it. Otherwise, draw a copy of it. I want to try this out. We got a copy of it. So we can do 26 damage right now. And I'm down to do it. Let's do it. What's the rat do? Apply to poison and two decrepit? Yes, please. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. This is insane. Let's go make this... Wait, so we got Zombie Spit and Pending Doom, right? We got Bleed Out. They all lose 4 health. We got this doing some 9 damage. We got this doing some... Some funky damage as well. We got this guy weakened. Well, this guy is... Yeah, it's weakened that guy. Yeah, we'll take some damage. It's all good. That guy is just taking a massive hit. And now what's nice about the fact that it's Impending Doom is that I can do even more damage... So retain means they're not discarded. Oh, I, I thought this was wrong. I was thinking it as like while well, he plans. It means if I don't do anything, it stays in your hands, which is very useful. Very useful to kind of counteract the curses and start synergizing with the energies. So that makes this card infinitely better for me. So I'm going to get rid of my frail for, by one, right? I reduce my frail. Now I can actually block. I mean, that's kind of insane. Unnatural energy. Strike, smack. We retain the wicked thoughts. And yeah, that's kind of fitting. We retain these wicked thoughts. Upgrading your card and reduce this cost by one for the rest. Okay, so let's upgrade the hex card. Up, reduce that cost. Let's attack this dude. And let's get rid of some of these slimes. I love it, guys. Absolutely love it. So bleed out kills these guys. We can also just do this. GG. Very nice. Vile Egg. Heal 3 HP. Add a random familiar to your hands. Another impending doom or black Sabbath. Deal 15 damage and apply 4 decrepit. What? Coming out doesn't sound insane, guys. Wow. And there's also this. Add a random familiar and you gain 3, heal 3 HP. And it's just the cutest damn thing I've ever seen. And impending doom number 2, which by the way could be in create. Let's do black Sabbath because that works with cat familiar. Orrery, Curse Key, which seems to synergize with this guy, and then Snake away. I'm gonna do Curse Key. I'm down for that. Okay, going well. Going well. So, let's go for an Elite later on. Maybe get a little shop along the way. We could go for two Elites. You know, I'm down for this. I think I'm pretty confident with this class. I think this class is pretty damn good. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold on to this uh, Wicked Thoughts. Actually, I can play it right now. Let's draw some cards. Cat Familiar. So let's play the bat first. And then Cat Familiar. 
Now we can do zombie spit. Do some 13 damage, little strike. All in all, not bad. Now we just gotta apply some rot if we get the rot. Well, normality is kind of an issue. Let's do this. Let's do the bad. Now we can heal, or we can do Cat Familiar for 18 damage. Not heal, I mean we can block. Let's do 18 damage. Because we have Blood Vial, right? So we're going to heal this stuff up anyways. We've got 18 damage yet again. And we got another 14 damage, and we got a Bleed Out. I mean, Decrepit is very strong. I like it a lot. Decrepify. Apply to Decrepit to a random enemy. X plus one times. Mortis Claw. Deal 12 damage, and the enemy loses 12, but we retain this, so you never discard it if you don't want to play it. And then Black Bolt. Uh, let's do Decrepify. We've come to realize that Decrepit is very interesting. Impending Doom. Uh, before we do that, let's see if we can uh, synergize this with... Here, let's draw two cards. Take that. Beautiful. Okay, let's go for damage, right? Actually, let's go for 13 block. Let's just be safe about this. 13 block. Some more block. Impending Doom. And, um... Bleed out Grim Vengeance. I like it. So we got Cat Familiar, which is doing 12 damage. We got this to do some block and also reduce my weaken, which I don't have. We got Black Sabbath, which is doing 15 damage and 40 cover to all enemies, which makes this 100% lethal. I mean, it's lethal. Like, that's lethal. Where's unnatural energy when you need it? You know what? I'm going to use energy power for this. Smack him. Smack him. And then, uh, damn. Fine. Boom. Not bad. Not bad. I'll tell you what, I'm not, now that my deck's getting larger, I'm not getting unnatural energy as much. I'm doing other things with my deck, but I'm not getting unnatural energy as much. So it's probably better to keep my deck smaller, right? If the enemy is poisoned, churn all poison into rots, otherwise apply three poison. What? You heard it here first. Apply X week, gain block four, uh, gain four block X times. Huh. Corrupt block. Should I ever read this again? If the enemy is poisoned, turn all poison into rot. Otherwise, apply three poison. Recurrent. This is great. That's crazy. So now we have rot and decrepit. I know I'm kind of losing track of what my deck's doing, but we're having fun with it, all right? Now we can make this guy have... Whoever this hits, because it's random, right? So whoever it hits is going to potentially do 14 Decrepit. That's kind of crazy. Let's do this. Let's get rid of these curses. Our Familiar. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got Foresight. Let's see what we get. All right. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Hexagard. Okay. Grim Vengeance. Decrepify. Why on that target? It's all good. And wicked thoughts. Okay. It wasn't as sexy as a thousand to be. But we got rid of our curses. We got some corrupt. Their poison turns to rot, otherwise both their poison. Interesting. I do want to play some rots. First I want to play the block, right? Then I wanna just keep blocking. And I'm gonna do some Milady. Milady! A card that just stays in your hand without the need of anything else is kinda nice. Boom. Boom. Unnatural energy. Cat familiar. The rot. I love it. Let's do that. Oh, we got corrupt blood. So let's do that. Now, next time we draw into that... Oh my god, we got rat. So next time we draw that, we're going to make this poison into rot. That's insane to me. Not to mention, he's already going to die pretty much by that. I mean, he's probably dead. Is he not? He's not dead. That's my bad. Uh, I got carried away here, guys. I got carried away here. Oh, he was because I have rot and poison. No, he's 100% dead. Corrupt blood. Mercury for block. Some more familiar- let's do Impending Doom, Bleed Out, familiar stuff. Love it. Love it. I actually like this class a lot. More Corrupt Blood, now it's Rot. Make this Decrepit. 
tell you what. That's GG. Woo! Love it. Bat familiar, alpha familiar, thundercloud. We had a star, we had a bat. So I'm gonna keep with the cat that I have. Uh, we like cats, right? When drawn, apply one random weak to an enemy. Now we're gonna skip this. The first skipping of the day. Normality. Okay, she's got rot. I'm gonna make her rot away. And then we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, decrepify on somebody. Whoa! Whoo! Sexy. See, I have artifacts. If only I had hex, hex ghost. Let's do some poison, some decrepit. Let's do unnatural energy. Let's do a little cat familiar. Let's do a little bit of corrupt blood. Make him rot as well. Smack, smack. Yikes. I'm taking a lot of hit. Whoopsies. That was, uh... That was rough. Let's upgrade the corrupt blood. Wow. That guy's dead. Next turn. That guy's taking a big hit. I did a lot of unnecessary damage to that guy, actually. He was already dying to other things. I mean, I took all this damage, but at the end of the day... We're doing a lot of damage. This guy has 7 rot and 4 poison. Sometimes it's hard to realize this guy has 7 rot and 4 poison. That's a lot of stuff. He's got guaranteed lethal, pretty much. Smack. More familiar. Wait, can I make it so that it does 2? Can I stack this? I'm gonna try stacking it. I'm very curious to see if I can stack this. <laughs> We're... While the Purgus... Shuffle all non uh, your exhaustion cards. Shuffle all your... Exhausted, non-status, non-ethereal into your draw pile, then draw one of those cards. Wait. Shuffle all your exhausted, non-status, non-ethereal cards into your draw pile, then draw one of those cards. So that would work with... Like, Foresight. And that would work with... Foresight, pretty much. <laughs> but you could also do... Uh, Rite of Autumn to, like, play with that. But that could work with Foresight. Oh. Gain 7 block, double. Doubled if you have at least one, a curse in hand. So we get, like, 14 block per one. That's pretty good. I need the ability to block. What is this? Weak, vulnerable, and decrepit no longer decrease. What? Decrepit no longer decreases. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I gotta take that relic. I gotta take that relic. Sorry. I gotta take that relic. Walking ah. cane. I saw that and I had to take it. Decrepit never decreases. Now we can just decrepit this guy in the back and feel good about it. Matter of fact, we can poison decrepit the guy in the back. Let's just see what we draw. We got double defense. I don't know if I like that. See, I ideally want to use foresight. You know, I got to plan foresight properly. I got to make it so that I can copy the... Like, I have to figure out how to make foresight work. So does, does it stack? It doesn't look like it stacks. So I took two of them for no reason. He never loses Decrepit, though, so this right here is doing 27 damage. I'm also taking a lot of damage. Let me just, uh, throw that out there. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Way more than I want to take, so let's kill this dude. I just realized I'm taking a buttload of damage. I mean, we can do a lot of damage, but I'm taking a buttload. So let's do this. Um, let's block. Let's do damage. Make him bleed out. And then Milady. Alright, so we got Decrepit never going away. And we got Rot building up. We gotta make sure we survive because it's getting a little crazy. Oh, we did stack. We do have two Cat Familiars now. So let's do Blood Sabbath. That guy's a lot decrepit. Now we're gonna kill this guy. And then do a lot of damage here. I mean, that's crazy. You know, we can keep going. There's a, I think we have lethal next turn with the cats. Pretty sure. That's a lot of damage. Yes. Okay, we got very low there. Let's heal. Things got a little spicy. Unnatural energy upgraded. Right about him upgraded. I like it. Draw three cards, they have random costs for this turn. That's kind of interesting. Shrooms. I like the concept. And I like black shields. Let's get more better block, because right now I'm lacking block. Apparitions. Well, 
I'll tell you what, our persons are broken with this class because we're gonna just make them decrepit for life and then it's GG. So I don't mind taking that. Let's, um, not to mention, wait, isn't there a thing that can bring exhausted cards back? That's apparition right there. Not to mention, wait, foresight can copy apparition. It's a lot of different synergies. Let's do Corrupt Blood Plus. I like that. Let's do, you know, Black Shield just for the block. Right now, we want some block. Regret, Mercury Hourglass, no problem. Sort of a problem, but whatever. Or drop the card for each curse. Two Decrepit to the Attacker. Foresight. Hex Guard. Bleed Out. These are all so good. I mean, I like the AoE. What? Why didn't see the upgrade on that? Yes. Okay. So, Cat Familiar. Let's do the apparitions and smack this guy up. Cool. Milady. I should have done the crap first. That was my bad, guys. Should done. I also should have done the Grim Vengeance. There's a lot of things I did wrong there. I need more energy. That guy's gonna die to rot. Alright, so let's go ahead and focus on this guy. Let's uh, familiarize him. Well, let's do this. Let's decrepify somebody. Well, I don't want to decrepify the wrong person, so let's do that. And that. And then we can decrepify. Oh, it just goes randomly. It's not like. Interesting. Got it. Got it. That's still very good because they don't lose a decrepit. Guy's gonna die next turn to impending doom. Well, let's do this. We're, we're living on the edge, right? We're taking some damage here and there, but uh, you know what? We do got blood vials, so it's fine. And this guy should be dead with this. Black Sabbath, got familiar. Yes. Bleed out, crystal reson uh, resonance. When drawn, reduce by one the cost of all skills in your hand for this turn, gain five block. This helps with energy. Hmm. Do I, do I just like bleed out instead? I kind of just like bleed out. <laughs> I'm going very offensive here. Uh oh, we gotta be careful with this one. This guy doesn't mess around. We got block. We have, uh,. Impending Doom. Corrupt Blood. Um, I have two Cat Familiars in my deck, I believe. Yes, I gotta get rid of one of those. We got Apparition. Unnatural Energy. Rat. Okay. So when we get Corrupt Blood again, it's gonna keep taking care of that. Now I gotta get that thing that allows me to take care of my curses. Right now the curses are kind of messing me up. I'm taking three damage. That's not good. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is not good. I think we're dying. I think we're dying, my friends. I think this is where it all ends, guys. I think this is where it all ends. I think this is where it all ends, guys. This is where it all ends. RIP! Well, okay. Damn interesting, guys. Damn interesting. Alright, we're gonna do a quick one. Once again, now that we know the gist of it. How do you guys feel about that? Now, let's do just a quick one. Now we're gonna try to be a more focused deck, alright? So, I'm gonna focus on... I had some really good relics as well. I'll, I'll tell you that. I wasn't really utilizing the ability to hold on, like, to get rid of the curses and get the energy in the card draw. I was kind of just taking it all in, and it was crazy. So, just remove a card, up three potions, or remove two cards. I might just remove two strikes. But I kind of want to... Yeah, let's remove two strikes. Let's go for it. The more I can play with the zombie spit, the better, right? Let's go for relics, because we decided some of these relics are kind of insane, so we're definitely going for the relics. Okay, not the greatest start. Now I'll be, I'll be mindful. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't have a, I don't have a lot of strikes, so this guy might be a little bit rough. 
a lot of it rough. Come on, Coltis, be nice to me. Looks like I only have one strike on my deck. What is this? <laughs> Looks like I only have one strike on my deck. Oh no. See, this is the problem with you know removing two strikes, but okay, it's gonna in the, the mid game to the late game is gonna be is gonna come together. Memento Mori. Deal eleven damage increased by the percentage of targets missing health. Cool. Pain bolt. Apply X vulnerable, then deal 4 multiplied by X damage. That's insane. A, th a theme. Deal 8 damage. If this kills the enemy, increase the chance of re receiving rare cards by 10%. What? Just, but just by killing this? Like, just by killing somebody with this, I increase the chance of receiving rare cards by 10%. So potentially, if I kill somebody, what, 10 times, I can get 100% rare cards? I'm very curious to see if I can get 100% rare cards. There's a lot of YouTube stuff to make with this one. So, boom, he's dead. Okay. Now, I don't know if that means within combat or... Like, do they, do they mean... Does that mean, like... Like, buy certain things? Like, how do I say this? Random stuff? Like, last game that we just had? I'm not sure what exactly that means. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure this out. Salt circle, gain seven block. I like that. Nice little block. So, things offering still not here. I guess it meant like. Receive rare cards from those things that give you cards. I'm lacking a lot of damage compared to last game. My damage is severely lacking. Incredibly lacking. Oh my god. The lacking. It's insane. One damage at a time. I'm, I'm having trouble with both the cultists and the jawworm. These are both things that get punished. I have to use this. I should have applied all rot much sooner. Oh wait. I just realized a thing's offering keeps coming back. It doesn't exhaust. So I'm not sure what that means. I guess it's only for that. For this. Like, I get 10% more chance of rare after the battle. Okay, cool. One draw and gain two strength for one turn. Cool. That's not bad. I like Mercury. We came to a conclusion that we like Mercury once. We're very low in life. It's not a good start. When you play the first card each turn, all enemies lose health equal to the cost of that card. Huh. We like Milady. Milady. And let's do uh, remove a strike. Let's rest, just because our ass is getting pounded. That guy's gonna die. To rot. Let him rot away. Actually, you know what? Get more rare cards. I like the chance of rare. We'll hold on to the salt circle.
This game's going much slower, I'll tell you that. But I feel like we are getting more better defense this, this time. I mean, last time we were actually not taking any damage, but... We had Cat Familiar, which was kind of nice to get early on. <laughs> I'm sorry for this one, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. The witch is dead. Ding dong. We wild out his block. Uh oh. Got rid of my salt circle. We're almost there. Just give me some offense. That's all I need. Some offense. We're going to take over the world. War paint, cool. Moon chosen, gain one artifact when your turn begins if you have none. Wow. Yes. I like artifacts. That's super cool. 20% chance to get rares. Yes. I'm all about that. Strawberry. You know what's funny? Wait a second. I just realized there is a card that can bring back exhaust cards. So if I take that back after it exhausts, Kill another enemy. I can increase my chances to get rare by 40%. Whenever you apply a debuff, gain 2 block. That seems very good. Schadenfreude. Yes, I like that. Deal 8 damage, then enemy loses strength for 1 turn equal to the unblocked damage dealt. Wow. What's the upgrade? Huh. Right of Winter, place any number of cards in your hand on top of your drop pile and gain 5 block for each of them. Interesting. Not only does this retain stuff, but it gives you block. Huh. A lot of interesting cards. I like Shout and Freude, but I do need the damage. I'm gonna take the Shout and Freude. We do need damage. Moon Chosen. So this is one of those things where like... We could potentially make our upper chance. Insane. I want to find that card that makes me get back exhaust. I really want to try this out. Shout in Frode. Milady. Whenever you play Deep of Game Block, I like that a lot. Fatal Ray, we're getting all these rare cards because of uh, our thing. Can only be played if you have at least seven cards in your hand. Deal 25 damage. Wow. 25 damage for two, but if you have seven. Wow, so that's like very specific, but it's very good damage. I'm gonna try it out. Does this work with uh, Schadenfreude? It's a game block every time I apply Decrepit. That's pretty cool. One draw and apply one vulnerable to random enemy two times, deal five damage. Now, this gives me six block. With my power, this gives me six block and applies vulnerable and does five damage. But it gives me six blocks just for drawing it. Just for drawing this, I get six block because of that power. Very useful. But I'm gonna do Fatal Rage just because you can try this out. So we're gonna have to get extra cards somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Gotta get seven cards. So we need to get familiars. That's the best way. That guy's gonna rot away. Let's get, let's get rare chance card. I like that. Let's get the rare out. I know I could have let him rot, but I wanna get the rare. That's me being greedy. Yeah, so Fatal Ray right now is a dead card, but we're going to hopefully make some use out of it. Roiling Barrier. Gain 5 block. When drawn, increase this card's block by 1. Cool. Apply 1 Witch and 1 Vulnerable to all enemies. So this is going to be 3 weak and 3 upgraded. This is insane. For 1 mana, you draw and apply 3 weak and 3 Vulnerable. Also giving me block because of that power. That's insane in the membrane of a card. Absolutely bonkers. And what's funny about a theme is that it doesn't exhaust until it kills, which is quite interesting. Shard and Freud it. I'll shard and Freud it. I laugh at your pain, my friend. Milady. 
Whoa, we can get double the energy stuff. Okay, no, it's fine. This is, uh, we got some damage, right? This is damage. I like it. Sword and fried it. You okay with sword and fried it? If your block is broken this turn. Oh. Cool. That's cool. The witch. Sure, I didn't Freud it. I should have played that first. Fatal Ray. I'm gonna have to find a way to use you. My lady. My lady. I'm gonna hold into Mortis. Oh, that was fun. Whoa! Night invulnerability, unplayable cleanse. Play it three attacks this turn. Cleanse equals reduce all damage to one for one turn. That's like intangible for one turn. Cleanse, play three skills. So in order to get the ability from cleanse, you have to play three attacks or play skills. Well, harmlessness is going to be... Well, this one is... Cost one, attack, deal five damage to a random enemy five times. So that's better in an offensive deck. This is better in a defensive deck, I suppose. I think right now we have more skills. Let's try this one. This is super, super interesting. Super, super interesting. Huh. That's obviously like grand finale in its own weird way. Um, I really like this. Three weaken. That's insane to me. That's so nutty to me. Uh, I guess I'm coming from like where <laughs> I'm coming from classes that don't just don't have that. Mortis Claw. We gain energy. Gain more energy. And this is a turn where we have Fatal Ray playable, potentially. So let's do this. And Mortis. Mortis Claw is insane to me. Fatal Ray is almost playable. So I didn't realize Fiddle Ray could be played by having retained cards. That's very interesting. I guess that makes sense. Nineteen. We did it. So now we can play Fiddle Ray if we draw into it. Harmlessness. Play three skills so we can do a random attack. So let's let's try this out. Let's play three skills. Let's just try it out. Boom, boom, boom. We cleansed it, and now we can play it. Wow. Now, wait, wait, wait. Does that mean now it's a card in my deck? That I can keep playing? Really? Now I activated it. I had Fatal Ray. I missed it. No. This guy's rotting away, by the way. <laughs> So Mortis Claw is quite interesting. I want to just block here, but I think I like a theme as well. Let's block. Let's go for the kill with Mortis. Well, Harmless Ninja is... This is crazy. That's GG. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I love this. I love this. Right of Spring, shuffle any in your draw pile any number of cards in your hand and gain twice that much HP. Shuffle when you drop out any number of cards in your hand and gain twice that much HP. So you can pick cards in your hands and then gain twice the amount. So if you put car four cards back, you gain eight, eight HP. Cool. Grave Burst, deal damage to all enemies equal to twice the number of attacks in your discard pile. This is kind of insane. Just retain it until this becomes very valuable. This is insane. Wall of Rust. You gain nine blocks. Shuffle a Curse of Rust in your draw pile. 
Curse of Rust halves your block at the end of your turn while in hand. So you play, you gain nine block for zero, but you shuffle the Curse of Rust in your drop pile. But curses give you energy, so there is some synergy with this. But with this, guys, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. I know you guys are going to be mad about it, but we got one full run in. We're going to finish it off next time. This is to save you guys time and stuff like that. This is a very interesting first look at the witch. From me, at least. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys have seen it, but the first look of the witch on me, YouTube exclusive, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is it as crazy as it seems, or am I going, am I going crazy? Right? I don't know. It looks some very good, interesting concepts, interesting cards. I like it a lot. I want to do more of this. Guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay frosty. <laughs> Stay positive, guys. Peace out.